Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday. Happy freezing cold Friday here in Michigan. What's up with this weather? 90 something degrees just like a few days ago. 40 degrees when I got off my lawnmower tonight. So I hope all of you guys are warm. And happy Memorial Day. This is a very important day. You know, we talk about the United States of America, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. A lot of people died for that. And that's why we need to keep up the fight, the good fight, because people have given up their lives and probably given a lot more than a lot of us have. And we need to remember them. And we need to be thankful for them. And like Ben Franklin said, we have a republic. If you can keep it, all of the brave people that have fought in wars over the years, trying to fend off tyranny, trying to fend off socialism, communism, all these things. Then when we look around America, it looks like they're trying to do that here. And we can never become a communist country. And all of us need to fight like hell to honor all the veterans here on Memorial Day and to save this republic. Because that's what we have as a republic, not a democracy. Despite the ATF, despite Congress, despite all these things, this is supposed to be a country of we the people, of the people, by the people, for the people. And that the government would be instituted amongst men. And that they would only have the authority to govern us at our consent. And that it is not only our right, but it is our duty to throw off such government after we've been reached to absolute despotism. And I see lots of tyrants and despots all around right now. And I'm sure you guys do too. But we need to take days like Memorial Day and realize what it's actually about. And yes, grieve for the fallen, but actually it should offer us encouragement. And we should have something to fight for. So I want to offer you guys encouragement with that because it's not about doom and gloom, guys. We have a chance. We have hope. But it's time. It's time for people to start getting a lot more involved. Speaking of which, the ATF. I put ghost guns in my title. That's a fake name, guys. That name doesn't exist. They're talking about home builds. But I put it there because everybody who knows exactly what it is, you guys already know where you stand on it. But there's a lot of people right now that aren't really sure what a ghost gun is. And that's where I would have all of you guys. That's something you can do that should be little effort. Talk to some of your friends, family, neighbors that are kind of wondering about this and say, no, no, no. This is just people building firearms as they always have in this country. In fact, they were doing it before the United States was a country. And I'll tell you what, if people weren't well armed, 1775, that's when the very first shots, it's called Concord Bridge in Lexington, right? The declaration was signed 1776, July 4th, but they started fighting almost a year before that in August. And that's what that was about at that time colonists, at that time technically legally loyal British subjects that put their necks out on the line, and the people that signed that great Declaration of Independence, they were signing a death warrant. And when you think about that, how beautiful that is, how much courage it had for these people. A lot of these founding fathers were millionaires or the equivalency thereof, and they lost everything. A lot of them lost their lives, their friends, their families. They lost their fortunes. Why? So we could try to enjoy this experiment on self-government, right? Self-governance, that's what it's all about, a republic. And we need to reject people that are trying to tear down our country. We need to stick to our guns because if we didn't have guns, if we didn't have guns in 1775, 1776, we'd still be loyal British subjects, wouldn't we? And we don't want that. We don't want to be like the rest of the world. This is America, and this is the last chance. Because people tell me all the time when I read their comments, and I have awesome viewers, they say, look, these are people that live overseas. They say, don't lose America, because if you do, there's nowhere left to go. And they're not joking. Literally by a miracle, and I believe by the grace of God, these founding fathers pulled it off. Now, it wasn't just that. They were also tough. They were really tough, probably tougher than a lot of people have been ever since. But we need to rise up now and stand up for these rights. You need to tell the ATF, I will not comply. And that's what I urge all of you to do. I urge you to stay strong. And I urge you to realize that you're not alone. And we need to oppose this so-called ghost gun ban. Because really what it is, is they're trying to change the core fundamentals of this country. America has been an armed society since its inception. And that's how we came, became this great republic. And I believe an armed society is a polite society, isn't it? And it's just not my belief. There's statistics to prove that. But they don't want that. They don't want the good people to be armed. Because you know why? Literally, 
They want it where we're all afraid of them because tyranny prevails when the people fear the government. And there's many tyrants out there, but liberty prevails when the government fears the people. And if they weren't afraid of us, they wouldn't be trying to ban what they falsely call these ghost guns. So I suggest to all of you to stand strong. There's an ATF, there's a comment period right now. It's called rules, promulgation of rules under the APA. A lot of you are filling out those letters. Yes, if you do, you're gonna get doxxed, it's true. Well, the founding fathers, John Hancock, he wrote his as big as he possibly could right in the center of that Declaration of Independence, didn't he? He didn't squiggle it where they wouldn't know who he was. John Hancock, right there. Go look at a copy of the document. You'll see what I'm talking about. Look, we all just want to be left alone. We do. We do want to be left alone. But if you're just going to sit back and you're going to think that somebody else is going to do it, you can't assume that because what's going to happen is I'm going to be here saying, well, Mateo's going to take care of it. And then if Mateo says, well, no, John Crump or 2AEDU will take care of it. And all three of us say that, well, it's easy math to do. And I'm not even good at math. Nobody would do it, would they? So don't assume that everyone else is just going to take care of this for you. Literally, Ben Franklin said, we have a republic. They said, what do we have, sir? A monarchy or a republic? He said, a republic, if you can keep it. And you, is you watching right now, all of us little nobodies, we're not particularly special in and of ourselves, are we? But we the people combined, there's 100 million plus gun owners in this country. The 100 million people, if it's their will, that's the way the will of the government country is going to go. But I fear people have been sitting back way, way too long, haven't they? And here's the thing. This is nothing new. And I remind you of this probably more than most people do. And at the expense of boring you, I'm going to remind you again. Because this is very important, and it becomes very important every single day. And it talks right here in this beautiful document. It's called the Declaration of Independence. And it tells you, hey, what's going on right now is kind of actually to be suspected. It talks about evils are sufferable. Let's go over this real quick. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And if you have that, that's all you need. And that's all that we really want, right? Just leave us alone and we'll take care of ourselves. But it continues. But to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. Secure these rights. Your government does not give you any rights. And that's what it says right here. But to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That when any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and institute a new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Them, that would be you. That's who they're talking about here. Prudence indeed will dictate the government's long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience hath shown. And this right here, let me read this again, because this is literally why we're in the situation we're in right now. Because people kept saying, at least I can have this gun, at least I can have that gun, and it ain't so bad, and ain't no one coming for your guns. This next sentence explains that nearly, what, 250 years ago. It says, and accordingly, all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. Let's think about that for one second. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably, the object invents a design to reduce them under absolute despotism. It is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies and I would say the patient sufferance of we the people currently right now in the United States of America. Because they say they want to compromise with you and they're liars. And to expect us to believe them literally requires the listener to be dumber than the speaker. And it's okay if you're pissed off and you should be pissed off. Because these are despots. These are liars when they tell you we want to compromise with you. It's just a ghost gun, whatever the heck that means. No, this is a big deal. It means being able to make your own firearms that you don't have to ask permission for. Because if you ask per for permission, it's not a right, is it? And the government did not grant you your rights. Your rights are endowed by your creator. In the first paragraph right here, I skipped to the second one earlier, it literally says, the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. 
These are natural laws. Look, I don't care what religion you guys are in, but unless you believe that David Chipman or, or, or the Senate Majority Leader or the former Vice President created you, unless you believe they created you, they didn't give you your rights, did they? No. Of course we have the right to keep and bear arms. The Founding Fathers realized it. They didn't give it to us. They said the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Literally doing what their duty was when this government was set up. The government's supposed to be instituted among men to protect and preserve the rights that you always have and you always will have. But let me tell you what, if they get rid of the free exercise thereof, and people are getting locked up, getting put in prison for things like making their own firearms, we call it slippery slope. No, that'll be the cliff at that point. I believe we're literally at a crossroads right now where we could have a potential sea change. But you know what? I'm not saying for sure that we're going to lose this republic right now because I've seen a lot of good people. And I'm seeing a couple hundred of them right now that offer me a lot of encouragement every day. But we can't be lazy. We can't sit back because, look, look, if you don't do it, who the heck's gonna? Well, some people say, well, what do we have to lose? We have, What do we have to lose? We have everything to lose. We literally do. Look, we're not just going to sit here and keep this republic. We're not just going to keep the free exercise of these rights unless we fight. Because people had to fight really hard in 1775 and on, didn't they? People had to fight really hard. The Civil War, World War I, World War II, Korea, Spanish-American War, Vietnam, all the other different Iraq wars and conflicts. People went to Bosnia. People went all over the place. And I don't want to leave anybody out. But we can't sit there and say, look... We respect the fallen and then just sit here and absolutely do nothing. That's where it says, not only is it your right, see the founding fathers. That's why I say this document's literally beautiful. And I truly mean that. They don't just say that it's your right. It doesn't say that when you've been reduced under absolute despotism, it is your right to throw off the government. No. It said it's their right. It is their duty. So that's all of your duty. And I say that with encouragement because we can have a lot of fun along the way. And I'm always going to things local, people in Livingston County, been to a couple events that a lot of you guys were at, and it's a really awesome time, isn't it? Went all the way down to Georgia and hung out with a bunch of other patriots, and we're going to talk about that again soon. So, look, you need to fight hard. You need to keep your spirits up, keep your body up, because we can't just run around all moping. Look, we need positive energy, but we need to know at the same time, this stuff's serious right now. I'm not a member of a gun rights group. I'm not asking you to sign up for any kind of membership. I have no reason to fear monger you. I just want you to realize what they're actually trying to do. They're trying to say you can't make your own firearms anymore without extra serial numbers, engravings, documentation, forms, registration, which always has, and I believe always will lead to confiscation. That's truly what's going on right now. I guarantee you if the Brits knew where every last gun was in 1775, the war could have gone a lot different, couldn't it have? And we probably wouldn't be on here talking about this right now. Because God bless all the Brits, many, many fine people. But here's the thing. People that moved from Great Britain to the United States, they'll tell you everything I'm saying. Plus one, they don't have all the freedoms and rights we do here, there. And many great people in all these countries. But we don't want to be like the rest of the world, do we? So with that, I encourage all of you. And there's a lot of encouragement to be had despite the ATF, despite David Chipman, who's an absolute, he's a real beauty, isn't he? John Crump with the super chat. Thanks, man. He said, keep up the good work. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Nice to see you. Flying Rich. He said, keep up the good work plus one cent. He just won up to you by a penny, Mr. Crump. How's it going, man? Nice to see you. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And I found a very special person in here who I want to say hi to. Michelle LaDuke, how are you doing? I literally saw her out of the corner of my eye, and I hope you're okay. And I miss you, like, super, super so much. So awesome to see you here. How are you doing, Michelle? She's a good one. I really like her, guys. She's, she went through a little trouble. Hopefully, hopefully your life's a lot better now. I really mean that. And I definitely, well, not today. It was 40 degrees. But now that it's warmed up, my wife and I would love to go shoot with you. So seriously, send me an email and get a hold of me. Look, I'm happy to see all you guys, okay? But I'm really happy to see her. What's up, Michelle? Dr. Warren with a super chat. Thanks, man, and a channel member. I appreciate it. He says, Chipman actually said the assault weapon man doesn't go far enough. Yeah, he did. He wants to confiscate. 
Not another inch. Non-compliance is the only way. Look, like I said earlier, there is no such thing as compromise. Here's what they say. They say, hold on a minute. <clears throat> Let's compromise. And you know, some, some reasonable people, big air quotes, will say, well, hold on a minute. Compromise is a good thing. Well, not with certain things. Not with our God-given unalienable rights. But here's the thing. They're not even compromising there. They say, we want to ban every last gun. And that is what they want to do. Read all the different bills that are out there. We want to ban every last gun, completely disarm America, and turn it into what they would call the socialist commie utopia, right? And then they come back and say, but we'll compromise with you, won't we? Oh, really? Well, we want to ban 13 things today, but we'll compromise and we'll only ban three. And then sometimes the Republicans come back and they say, because they only play defense, we need to have our representatives and senators go on the offense and just start repealing this crap. By the way, that's what you should be telling your people when you call them. The Republicans will come back and say, no, 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 three is way too many. Let's just do one. Let's just slip one little thing in there. And that's what they call compromise. And then you just lost the free exercise of a natural God-given right. And you very rarely, if ever, virtually never, at least on the federal level, see any of them come back, do you? No, you don't. So no, not one inch. No, not one inch, Dr. Warren. I completely agree with you. Now, if they were to say something like, hey, look, I wouldn't go for this anyways. I'm just going to give you guys an example. This would actually be a compromise. If they said, all right, we want to do something with, I don't know, Magazine capacity, they always want that. But but we'll remove full auto and silencers off of the NFA. That would be a compromise at least. I still wouldn't want that. We just literally need to repeal gun laws because every single darn last one of them are constitutional. And that's not according to me. That's literally the founding fathers when they wrote 1791, the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights. And it said shall not be infringed. And there's not really much room for interpretation there. Literally, any and all, even one gun control law is unconstitutional. And remember that when they say that they want to compromise. They don't want to compromise. They're lying to you. And I'm glad. I'm encouraged by a lot of people that see that. I'm sure there's a lot of you in the, com in the comments right now that agree, you know, that agree with me. It's plainly written as far as I'm concerned. But you know what? This is the truth. Everything we're talking about is the truth, but truth is treason and the empire of lies. And they don't want us to remember the Declaration of Independence, do they? And they don't want us to remember the Bill of Rights because these are all prohibitions on government, telling government that they can't restrict, that they can't prohibit, that they cannot infringe. Yep. And here's the problem. You give the wrong people just a little bit of power, just a little bit of power. And they get power hungry, they get greedy, and they just keep going and going and going, don't they? And those of us that are good people that just want to be left alone, we don't want that kind of power, do we? But hey, we're in the situation we're in right now. And I want all of you to be encouraged that no, there's no compromise. There's no, well, maybe this, maybe that. No. And I don't care if somebody owns a gun because a gun is an inanimate object. Just because someone owns a gun does not have them, does not give them the right to tread on your natural rights. You need to remember that too when someone comes up to you or somebody on TV and they say, well, I'm a gun owner. I've been a gun owner for a long time. And I even concede that you shouldn't be able to make your own firearm or possess or own an AR-15 or all these things. Well, look, doesn't matter what they call themselves. <clears throat> They're still anti-gun. They're still anti-God-given rights. And in my opinion, I would literally reject them. I would say, you know what? You want to be like that? May your chains rest lightly upon you. That's what Sam Adams said. May your chains rest lightly upon you. If they want to be enslaved, go for it. That's their prerogative. But that whole, I'm a Second Amendment supporter, I'm this, I'm that, we call them fud. We call them many things. I offer you guys encouragement to reject that too. Because I run into these people all the time. The beautiful thing is I get to see like awesome, encouraging comments on a regular basis. And I do, and I appreciate all of you. Now, I also see a lot of FUD comments. And, hey, I just shrug it off. I do. But we all need to support each other because we're all only human beings. And I get it. Sometimes it gets a little bit tough when people in real life around you 
Yeah, there's a lot of people out there they on, the, on the other side. They try to justify it this way. They try to justify it that way, but not me. I'm with you guys. Not one more inch, literally. So that's kind of my thought on the whole ghost guns thing. And one more time for people that are just joining. Look, I get it. It's not a ghost gun. That's a fake word. Just like when they say assault weapons ban. That's a made up word by the media too. But I put it in the title because there's people out there trying to figure out right now. They hear the former vice president, he's on TV, right? He wants to ban your ghost guns. So there's literally people right now, every day, Googling, saying, what's a ghost gun? What should I? Just trying to reach a few of those people. And some of them might be trolling the comment section right now, but some of them might literally just be wondering and wanting to know. And I'm tired of people only hearing the lies. That's why I get on this stream and try to at least tell people what stuff is. There's no such thing as a ghost gun, okay? It's a demonizing term that they're using. It's all part of their agenda. It's called building your own firearms, which we've been able to do before this country was created and still can today. And it's a natural right, and it's a good right. So let's keep that in mind. Rainy Day, 44124, 762. Nice caliber, man. Thanks for the super chat. Here's that rusted one. You guys remember that, that how to store your ammo video? This was part of the inspiration for that, but thanks for the super chat. 762, he says, we must all hang together or we'll all hang separately. Dude, I completely agree. I do, and that's why I said earlier, look, there's a lot of encouragement out there too. 100 plus million gun owners. That's a lot of people. I've been hanging out with a lot of people in real life too. Local events here in town. Went all the way down to Georgia and hung out with a bunch of pretty cool people. People that I believe are in the good fight and have our back. And I... That's so why I tried to bring you guys along on that trip as much as I could. We'll talk about that one second here before Susan skips here because I appreciate all the generous super chats, guys. I put it all back into the channel. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And thank you. Smash time. What's happening, man? See, speaking of people that I just met down south, what's happening, dude? He says, What's up, brother? Keep up the fight. You too, man. Keep doing what you're doing, dude. Look, we all need each other. There's something that the Smash Time is going to be able to say that might make more sense to somebody else than something I could say, right? Maybe vice versa. So heck yeah, man. And I here's the official Smash Time business card. See? You gave it to me and I kept it, man. Nice seeing you, dude. Thank you. Now he shouldn't have to, guys, but thank you, Mateo, for the super chat. He literally paid three bucks just to remind you guys to give the stream a thumbs up because the algorithm lately, not so good. So if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Or even if you just want to piss off Susan Wiki Wiki, give me a thumbs up to do that too because she definitely does not care for it too much. But that's all right. We're going to like the stream whether she wants us to or not, aren't we? <laughs> Where are we at here? See, they always love to skip the chat on me. Michelle LaDuke, what's happening? Thank you. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you, and I hope you're doing good. I'll go back and read the thing later. Nice to see you. Another Michigan girl in the house. I always like that. I don't know. I like most of you guys. Eh, the people from Texas, I'm even actually starting to like you too, believe it or not. But the people from Michigan, you guys are number one. But the rest of you, eh, I suppose you can hang out with us too. But I might be a little biased, right? James Kawasaki with the super chat. Thanks, man. He said, Jesus save souls, guns save lives. God bless. Well, God bless you too, man. When I say natural rights and Dow by our creator, in my case, my creator is, you know, the Christian God. The rest of you guys, look, whatever you believe created you, laws of nature, natural rights, just remember the sleepy old man, this former vice president. None of the Republicans actually either. Nobody in government gave you your rights. And that's what should be inspirational for every last one of you. Okay? But thanks, man. I'm sure that provided inspiration to a lot of people. And yes, guns definitely save lives. Save good people's lives. Much more, actually, than lives are taken. And there's actually statistics to prove that, aren't there? Denny's plant-based journey. Thanks, man. Channel member and a super chat. He says, love the GX4 hat. I was wondering who would notice that. Picked up my GX4 yesterday. Looking forward to taking it for a test drive, especially after the 13-round mags come in. Dude, I'm going to talk about that pestle in a little bit, guys, too. I got, to, I got to shoot it quite a bit. So 
I did a video with my friend a couple days ago. We had a blast. It was kind of just an impromptu thing. I told her, look, I went down to the IV8888 range day, literally for all my viewers. I mean, of course, for myself too, but literally for all of you. So I'm like, I got this, all this swag, T-shirts, hats. If you guys haven't seen that stream, go back and watch it. And I'm like, I need to like basically, I don't know. We just wanted to hang out with you guys and show it to you all. So here's what I'm going to do. All of the people that are Patreon supporters and channel members, I'm going to be doing a video like literally this week. So make sure you stay tuned and look for that. I'm not telling people you have to pay me money. It's just, hey, there's like 40,000 people or something like that that watch the channel. I might have 50 items that I want to send away. And that's about all I can afford in shipping too. So I figure, well, people that are supporting me financially that helped me go on that trip, which cost me quite a bit of money. It just seemed fair to me. Now, Taurus sent a bunch of stickers and I would do want to reach out to some of the people who aren't, you know, supporting me financially and send just some regular people stickers too, because I like a lot of you guys. And if I was rich, I would literally like send something to everybody, but I have a limited amount of items. So that just seemed like a way that made sense to me. Okay. And I definitely want to include some other people and some stickers and stuff too. So Look, guys, when I talk about like I own a lawn service, you know what I do? I'm like an owner operator. I'm literally cutting grass usually right up until just a few minutes before the stream. I work really hard for my money. YouTube's not my profession. Due to so many people being generous, though, I was able to do something cool. And I definitely want to give back to you guys. So it should be pretty fun giving that stuff to you. And I'm going to have a beautiful little girl. I think you guys know who she is if you're a patron or channel member. She's not going to come out on the public channel anytime soon, but there's a beautiful little girl that's going to help me, you know, draw the names and whatnot. I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. I don't normally do it, but we'll figure out how to get you guys what you want or a drawing or whatever. The main purpose is this. I went for you guys because of you guys, and I want to bring you along on the trip as much as possible. And that's why I've been going through putting out a video a day since I got back with other YouTube creators that a lot of you probably really like. And instead of just talking about all the new guns that were coming out, I'm talking about encouragement. And I just want you guys to know that you're not alone. There's people all the way across this country that are encouraged, that are in the good fight. Now it's a fine line. You can't sit back though and say, hold on a minute. Hold on. These other good people are going to take care of it because they're not. So here's the deal. It's up to you, literally, each one of you have to defeat these things like this, making your own firearms prohibition, all these different bills, bans, it's this chaos. It's up to you, and it is your right, and it is your duty. But don't feel so crushed, like there's just so much on your shoulders that you just need to give up or tap out. You don't need to tap out, okay? And that's basically that little series that I did with several YouTubers. Now, when I was at this event, Taurus was there. And I was like, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I was cutting grass, breathing in pollen, and freezing cold temperatures. So if my voice is a little raspy, that's why. It's like literally winter out there today. And I was cutting grass at high speed with grass and everything blowing in my face. So you know what? I'm going to shoot a machine gun once or twice. And I did. And it was awesome. But I think my viewers are going to have more fun watching me shoot guns at the Taurus booth. So you're going to see shooting videos coming out. Very soon. Susan doesn't like shooting videos. So some of those I'm playing games with her right now behind the scenes. GX4. How many of you guys are interested in that pistol? The TX22 competition. I'll tell you guys a secret. Awesome. Like, wow. What about the little Heritage? A lot of you didn't even know that Taurus owns the Heritage Revolver Company. There's the Rough Rider. There's that little barkeep. Shot that quite a bit too. And the Taurus guys, this was awesome. They were literally sitting there. They're like, dude, like your viewers, because they read the comments apparently. They're like, your viewers literally are like huge, huge, huge Taurus fans. So like it wasn't because of like how many subs I had or whatever. Nothing to do with that. They just literally knew. They're like, your viewers love this stuff. So they went over and piled me up with a pile of cases, hats, stickers, keychain, swag. And I said, I'm sending it all to my viewers. So Taurus knows who you guys are, and they just wanted to hook you guys up a little bit. GX4, very, very comfortable firearm, guys. 
I really, really enjoyed shooting it. Like, I was lucky enough to get it shoot it quite a bit. Here's where I'm at with it. Some of you are kind of ticked off that it won't take the G2C, G3C mags. I get it. But at the end of the day, it's a little small pistol, pocket pistol for a lot of people. Deep concealment. Some of you will carry an appendix. I wouldn't really want a big mag hanging out of it anyway, so I'm bummed out, but it's okay with me. Ergonomics of it, nice. Trigger for being a self-defense type pistol, also nice. I don't want to hear a trigger on something that I might draw under duress. Sweaty hands, nerves, commotion around me. All these things are very possible, if not probable, right? The trigger is great for what it does. Definitely serves its purpose. The fit and finish of the firearm, very impressed. It's actually really not a polymer framed gun. It's a stainless steel chassis frame that has a polymer grip module. And for Taurus, that's a pretty big step up if you guys think about it, you know? Recoil. Usually small little handguns like that are going to have a lot of recoil. This one wasn't bad at all, actually. Pretty nice. So my overall impressions are really good. You guys will see me shooting it. A couple other people that happen to be up on the firing line next to me. You know, a couple guys that aren't YouTubers, a couple guys that are. I took video of them shooting it, too. So you'll be able to see a number of people shooting the GX4 and get your own opinion on it. I think I'm going to have to do a video soon of G3C versus GX4 because so many of you love your G3C. You're wanting to know, is it better than? And I'll tell you right now, they're both awesome. I don't really even know if it's fair to compare them to each other and say, I mean, I'm going to do a comparison and contrast, but I don't know that it's a matter of saying, is this better than this? Now, if you were doing 365 versus GX4, sure. They both have the same purpose, same type of carry piece. G3C... GX4, they're really not the same gun at all, but I have thoughts on both of them, and I like them both a lot. So I think that's a video you guys will be looking forward to next. You know what I'm saying? Drain the Swamp 2.0. Speaking of Michigan, guys, what's happening, dude? How you doing, man? He says, this country has not been free since 1917 when the Federal Reserve was created. We can't fight the good fight when we can't identify the enemy. Cognitive dissidents. I get it, man. There's so much stuff going on. It's, it's literally insane, and I'm not saying that you're wrong. You know, 1917, it just happens to be that year. Right, Drain the Swamp? just happens to be the year of this, and I haven't shown this in a while. Maybe there's some new people on the channel that haven't seen this yet. The first Soviet currency, and I have two of these. The Bolsheviks took control of Russia during the October Revolution of 1917. Coincidence, huh? Maybe not. Establishing the Russian Socialist Federated Soviet Republic. You heard the word socialist, right, guys? Yeah, you did. A precursor to the USSR, this undersized note was among the first issues of the new communist government. Communist socialists, it's the same dang thing. Literally, they changed from socialist in their name the communists, and here it is. This is real. This is authentic. This is from over 100 years ago. And I'm not a fan of this whatsoever, guys. It's hard because it's hard to focus in because of the glare. There you go. Look at that hammer and sickle. This is evil. This is despotism, isn't it? We don't know how many people. We know what's in the tens of millions. People like Lenin, Stalin. Yeah. Going to communist China, Mao. Look at that Reich that was supposed to last a thousand years that if you say their name, they'll throw your stream into an algorithm, right? In Germany. Yeah, that was the Socialist German Workers Party, right? These people want to convince you that it's a utopia. Now, why is it? Why is it right now, Drain the Swamp? These literally communists in 1917, Bolsheviks they're called, right? Us. Federal Reserve created all these things. We can go down rabbit holes like crazy, but why is it that these people also confiscated guns from the citizens? Why did the Germans confiscate guns? China, yeah. They all registered them. They knew where they were at, and they confiscated them. And then absolute tyranny and despotism arrived, didn't it? Millions of people died, millions of people. And Mao himself... Mao himself said all political power comes from the barrel of a gun. And in that, he's right. He knows what's going on. He knew what was going on. And they know what's going on today. 
Look, anybody that wants to deprive you of your natural rights that weren't given by government but are supposed to be protected by the government, right? They probably don't have good intentions for you, do they? Because all of us, we just want to be left alone, enjoy the freedoms that we have, the liberties that we have. But that's not good enough for these people. They say it's a utopia, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, as long as they're the ones pointing the barrel of the gun at you ultimately and telling you which privileges you're allowed to exercise. It's kind of crazy. No, speaking of other things, you know, look, I, I'm going to say this again. It's, it is a fine line. I don't want us to drain the swamp and others. I'm not making light of this. I'm not saying that it's not a you-know-what storm and that we haven't had stuff going downhill for over 100 years. I know we have. I know we have. But if you don't have hope, what do you have left? And there's a lot of people out there that still actually agree with this experiment on self-governance. And a lot of people that want to tell the government, no, don't tread on me. Back off. And I believe if the people would have done more in 1917 to curb the government, we'd probably be better off right now. Yeah. And if people would have done it every single decade that's gone on, a couple of centuries, really. Look at the old Tree of Liberty quote, right? 1788, Thomas Jefferson, he wrote a long letter, and I've read it before on this stream several times, and I'll read it again one day. But basically he concluded that he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it that 1788, he's going through saying, well, 12 years have already passed, and there hasn't been but one armed revolution. He was basically saying, how do we even have any rights left? And he was already disgusted by some of the stuff that they were putting in the Constitution and that they were trying to write in the law at that time. And he finally said, let them take arms. From time to time, the Tree of Liberty must be refreshed with the blood of patriots and tyrants. It's just natural manure. So yeah, it's been our right and it's been our duty since this beautiful document was penned July 4th, 1776. And a lot of people haven't either been aware of their rights or they haven't been willing to exercise them freely since then. I get that. And a lot of people don't truly understand what the word duty is. And that's why I'm encouraging all of you, saying it's your duty to try to throw off such a tyrannical government that will want to prevent you from building your own firearms. And then no doubt does want to take your guns and don't take my word for it. Literally, look at all this legislation that's being promote, proposed. They literally want to take your guns. So don't sit back and think no one else is doing it because that person that needs to change things is you, every single person. But don't get so overwhelmed that you're sad. No, we should be happy about being able to stand up for our rights and stand up for this republic. At least that's how I look at it, and I'm trying to stay encouraged as I can. I know a lot of you guys aren't encouraged, and a lot of you are sad, but at least we get to hang out with here together on a Friday night. and There's a lot worse we could be doing, right? Don't answer that question. I'm sure there's a lot better you could be doing too. But hey, by the way, how's it going, Susan Wiki Wiki? Hmm, she's been watching the channel pretty close lately. She's a fan of the channel, but she keeps telling me, look, look, you turned me down, which I did. I said, no, we can't even be friends anymore, Susan. And by the way, I made a bumper sticker for her that I don't have here today, but I'm going to have available soon. And all of you Susan Wiki Wiki fans might like it. Now, if somebody's new and they're like, who's Susan Wiki Wiki? Just ask the chat, right? Lami, let's shed a little light on Lami. How you doing? Somebody was over here just the other day. Lami's technical current owner. I say former owner. Said I haven't been brushing him. What do you guys think now that she's not here? Hmm. At least we're not in a Chinese labor camp, someone said. Well, there you guys go. Hopefully that's some encouragement for you. Get off your butts and get in a good fight, guys. I think he looks just fine. Probably, literally, the nicest looking llama I've seen in a long time. So let me let me know what you guys think. Somebody said, Lamy didn't look like he was being properly groomed. I don't know about that. I think he's looking pretty good. Now he provides shop security. My deuce. Right, Pillbox Bunker? Lamy's half-track tank? Sponsored by Pillbox Bunker. What's happening, Pillbox? How you doing, man? We'll move that over there so you guys can see how, how Lamy's riding style. Very well armed. Armed to the teeth. Look, if Lamy can do it, he's vigilant, ready to go. You guys could do it too. So there's some encouragement for you, right? 
Now, I don't want to say this. I'm going to jinx it somehow. I think the ammo shortage is starting to come to an end. Now, before you guys say it, someone's going to say there is no ammo shortage. There was never an ammo shortage. Well, look, there was because, look, you could always get it if you were willing to spend enough money. And that's how a shortage works. You can always buy something if you have enough money. So when we say shortage, we mean there hasn't been enough supply to beat demand for well over a year now. It was getting to the point where steel case nine mil would come in for about 29 a box and it would sell out in five minutes. Now I'm noticing a few of you viewers told me, you're like, Hey, look, dude, aim has got it. So I went over there and looked steel case at aim 23 per 50. And it's still been in stock five days later. Think that's a good sign. So hopefully you guys can hold out on what you have. Cause as I've told you guys so many times over the last year, if you have none, you have to get some. Like, you have to. It's a no-brainer. You just bought a firearm. You have no ammo. And I've heard some really sad stories over the last year, and I do believe them, where they said they bought a firearm. They couldn't find one round of ammo anywhere. So they sold the firearm. I'm like, man, that's sad. People that actually, because you have to remember, some of us have owned guns our whole lives, and we've always known that's what the Second Amendment was. Some of us were brought up being taught in school that the Second Amendment gave us the right to keep and bear arms, right? I'm sure some of you are in that camp, and that's okay. We all have to start somewhere. Other ones of us have always known that the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This was a God-given natural right. There's other people that literally just woke up one day in the last year when they saw everything going crazier than they've ever seen before, and they said, you know what? I have that right. I didn't even know. Like, whoa, okay. So I don't have to be a policeman or be in the military to own a gun? I'm serious. People have come in my comments and said this. People I've met on the street have told me this. So they went to buy their first gun, and they said, all right, I have a firearm. I'm going to go to an instructional class, learn how to use the darn thing. A lot of them watch my videos to learn different things, and that's awesome to be able to help people out. That's why I do my videos, offer encouragement and help people out, and what's in it for me, I get to hang out and meet a bunch of cool friends, really, because the stuff that I know I could just do by myself, but then I wouldn't help people, and then I wouldn't meet you all, and they tell me, look, there's no ammo, like, it was really, really bad for a while, I think it's getting just a little bit better, a little bit better, okay, and a lot of you are still like, no, dude, like, it's way too much, I get it, I get it, this right here, and I like to shoot a lot of this, by the way. This is good stuff. This is the Wolf Steel Case. This was six dollars and some odd cents a box. Six thirty nine, six forty nine. Literally, this is what this was. Oh shoot! Now it's like a year and two months ago, isn't it? We're almost in June. It's come down from thirty to like twenty three, and it's been in stock for a week. What do you guys think? We have a chance? I don't know. I'm still gonna go back to what I said before last year. I hope I'm wrong. I said it then. I'll say it again. I hope, hope, hope I'm wrong. I don't think we're ever going to see it go back to what it once was. But the closer it gets, the better. We'll see. We'll see. What are you guys thinking? Because <clears throat> I know some of you don't want to buy ammo online, and I understand why you don't. There's many reasons. How's your local gun shop shelves looking? Are you guys getting what you need? And I'm seriously asking that because I'm trying to figure it out. The prices are still totally nuts, guys totally nuts but they're kind of starting to go in the right direction and as mad as we are at the fact that they're still insane maybe we can find a little optimism and hope in the fact that i think they're going to be working their way back down a little bit that's just what i'm kind of noticing lately first it has to become available again then the price can take care of itself so if you guys can hold out a little longer i'd hold out but if you have none it's a no-brainer you have to What's your life worth? What's your family worth? Okay. Literally, they come in. They come in my videos and they say, 2AE to you, I have no ammo, not even one round. I'm like, yep. You know, you know, they're new. They're new. And look, the free exercise of our God given right to keep and bear arms, it's not just for people that have a lot of money. It's not just for people that have been into it a long time. Look, me being in the guns for what, 30 years almost now. Really, if you think about it, yeah, 28, 20, yeah, 27, 28 years. I have not one scintilla more right to keep and bear arms than someone that just now decided to buy their first gun today. And people have gotten really mad at me in the past for saying that, but I don't care. 
I'm not going to apologize for it. Newbies have just as much of a right as me or anybody else does. And they have no ammo. And they're like, what do I do? What do I do? It's a ripoff, right? I'm like, well, Jesus said, sell your cloak and buy a sword. So, yeah, you're going to have to figure it out. If you have none, you have to buy it. But for those of you that have some, okay, you have enough. That's a personal choice. I think if you guys can hold out a little bit longer, prices are going to start coming in the right direction. I really do. Let me know what you guys think. I'll definitely read all the comments over the weekend here, which is fun. I like reading you guys' comments. Um, Phil Ellis with a super chat. Thanks, man. He says, ATF is going to seriously overplay their hands with the new management. Yeah. Court action is going to be wild. Keep up the fight and don't give one inch. Look, this is, this is where I said we're at the crossroads of a sea change, for better or worse. Stuff's not going to stay gridlocked much longer. That's just my opinion. In my opinion, Phil, here's the thing. People have been just sitting around, sitting around too long. Maybe it's because I'm hanging out more on YouTube and get to meet a lot of more, more you know, good people. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, guys. But I believe people are getting more vigilant than ever before. And more and more people are saying, not one inch. I will not comply. So what are they going to do? They're going to do what despots always do. They're going to double down. And that's their only move. They start to lose, double down, right? <coughs> and something's going to happen. The ATF is either going to, look, they're supposed to be law enforcement, not even making laws. That's even if they should be allowed to exist at all. And in my opinion, the whole organization's unconstitutional, period. End of story. But with that said, they're going to try to push back. We're going to push back. They're going to push back, and something's going to happen. They're either going to take all of our guns, or they'll be rendered useless and not even be a functioning organization anymore. I don't know. Definitely something to think about, though. Um, RP Talk, what's happening, man? Channel member and a super chat. Thanks, man. He says, I remember when ammo prices went up during Obama's second term. I'll gladly pay those prices today. I know. We were so mad because brass case 9 mil went up from, like, what was it? I'm Let's say retail price, not online, because there's shipping and all that with online. It went up from like 10 bucks to 15 bucks overnight, didn't it? In Obama's second term. Brass case nine mil. I might be off by a buck or two, guys, but that's what I kind of remember. Mateo, thanks for being a channel member, man. And of course, the moderator, which is a very thankless job. And I hope all of you guys appreciate this so we can have a decent chat. Lori DeVries, there's a good Michigan girl. How you doing, Lori? Nice to see you a couple weeks ago. Look, guys, I just. I just like to go to all of these Second Amendment type events. Lori was there. Jane Locke was there. Rick Nieper. I don't know if Rick's in the chat right now. Rob, if you're watching, awesome people there. Ban Talk, thanks for being a channel member. I appreciate it. Says, you want to know what's going on in the economy? Google liquidity trap. I'm not real familiar with that, actually. I might know what it is. I'm just not, you know. Um, Kathleen Music Lumber, Suits, very good looking man. Go watch my video with those guys. It was fun hanging out with different YouTubers. And I told you guys a quick story about me and Such. And, and I meant it. You know, he's a guy I've looked up to for a long time and kind of gave me encouragement to, to start this channel. And, yeah, he's very good looking, <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> he was like, what's he even talking about? Kathleen asked me, is Such as good looking in real life? Yeah. People want to know. People want to know. Michelle, there you go. Gifted 75 rounds to my friend's son and told him about this channel. Awesome. I mean, hopefully he likes the channel, but the fact that you gifted him, yeah, bought a gun. and See, here you go. You don't have to believe me. Listen to Michelle right here. Bought a gun and couldn't get any rounds. I hope, I hope people are getting what they need. Are you guys getting what you need? I don't know. I hope so. Max shot 62. What's happening, man? Thanks for being a channel member. <laughs> Yes. He says, if you fly a flag on a pole on your property, as I do, please don't forget on Memorial Day, fly it at half staff until noon. I don't have all of the, the etiquette with that, but I think he's right on that. You guys can chime in. He's just reminding you. I know there's very serious etiquette with the flag. And me not having to serve, I kind of don't remember some of the stuff that you guys all do. Chris Plummer, thanks for being a channel member. He says, Lama looks like it was asked, what's the definition of an assault weapon? Oh, my gosh. Look, if Lama had to debate that clown, it'd be over, dude. Like, it wouldn't even be. 
Can you guys believe it? What's the definition of assault weapon? Uh, 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 I believe we had some type of paper and we used the definition of it there. Yeah, but what's your definition of an assault weapon, they asked. Uh, uh, we had a memo. We had a whatever, and it was um, it was written down in that and stuff. So that's what I would do. Did you guys hear that garbage? Literally, what's worse? The one's up there. He's literally up there. He's walking around. They said the wind blew. Remember that? The wind blew. He fell up the stairs four times. He gets out there. Uh, where am I? Um, uh, I I'm Joe Biden, and I'm going to beat Joe B Biden. Uh, these people literally don't even know their own names. I don't know what's more sad. Sad that they're supposedly up there? <laughs> or... Just sad that they're in that type of shape. I'm not sure exactly, but he stands there, right? And he says, uh, this is my wife. This is my daughter. No, 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 no. They, they switched. This is my wife. Ah, oh, this is my daughter. Uh, uh, uh. And then he gets on TV the next day and says he's going to ban your ghost guns. And that this sleepy old man is going to infringe upon your right to keep and bear arms. Yeah. Now, look, we can have fun and joke all we want, but if that's not serious, I don't know what is. That We've gotten to the point right now, right now, where there's a sleepy old man. God bless those children in Waco, Texas, thinking about the other one. Can you believe that? Hm. Went into a bunker down on a school bus. They didn't make it out, did they? It's really sad. And these are these people on here trying to tell us how to live our lives. And they're trying to tell us about natural God-given rights. That's why I said we all need to be encouraged. Something's going to happen. The ATF's going to get so much more powerful than they've ever been before. Or people are just going to render them useless, and I just don't know which. But it seems like they're really, really trying to push, aren't they? Of course they are. That's what these people do. That's what these despots that have a lot more power than they've ever deserved. But, hey, this is the reality and the situation we're in. A lot of people say, well, hold on a minute. This isn't legit. That's not legit. This isn't this. This isn't that. And it may or may not be, but at the end of the day, if they're up there purporting as such and there's no one there to stop them, it kind of does, you know, de facto happen, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So that's why, like I said, it's a fine line. We don't need to go down in rabbit holes so much, but we don't really need to just lose hope and say, all right, it's just too much. I tap out. I'm done. Because if we lose this republic, if we lose the free exercise of these natural rights, we're never going to get them back. So, yeah, it's crazy. You watch these guys on TV. What's 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 an assault weapon? Uh, 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 there was this one document that said something this one time, and we 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 did something and and, and stuff. Really, really, the stuffed llama. Not only way more handsome. A lot smarter. Could beat this guy in a debate. It's not even close. Jason King with the super chat. Thanks, man. Jesus 2.0 said, sell your Xbox and buy an AR. Oh, man, that's... No, you're right. People can... I know exactly what you're saying. People can do... People do what they want to do, don't they? At the end of the day, <clears throat> where there's a will, there's a way. Look, a lot of you guys work really hard for your money and you're broke. I get it. But if you need a box of ammo and you have none... You have to have it, don't you? I work hard for my money. It is hard to keep up with all this stuff. And that's why I haven't done as many shooting videos this summer as I did last summer. Because last summer, I still had more stuff left over from the summer before. That's why when I was at the range day in Georgia, where I shot a couple machine guns briefly, instead of blasting those all day, I was shooting Taurus pistols so I could get shooting footage for all of you. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought that's the stuff you guys would appreciate the most. Awesome. Pillbox Bunker just became a member. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. I know you've been on Patreon a long time, and thank you. Thank you, man. Obviously. You know, some people talk about it. They say, I'd like to thank my channel sponsor, and it's this and that. My channel sponsors are all of you guys, like right here. Pillbox Bunker. 2A Sanctuary County event. Howell, Michigan, right? I've already talked to you guys about it, but some of you are new to the channel. And this is where I tell you guys, getting in the good fight can be a lot of fun, and you can meet good friends that you'll know hopefully the rest of your life. Some cases, yes. Some cases, no. But you're going to meet good friends that are going to be there with you. 
He's watching the channel. He'd been watch. He's one of the first people that started watching this channel, right, Pillbox? And I appreciate you, man. He's like, dude, I got something for you. I got something for Lamy because Lamy came from my friend that was my co-host, Ray. Awesome friend, by the way, too. And he's like, dude, I've got something for Lamy. I've got a tank. So after the meeting's over, we won, by the way. We won. After we won and it became uh, 2A Sanctuary County, he gave it to me out in the parking lot. So, And now he's helping me financially here again. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, dude. And, of course, Lamy does, obviously. And that's the security for this shop. Marco Polo, thanks for the super chat, man. He says, contributing to your ammo fund. Well, thank you. Looking forward to more IV8888 videos. Ammo is more available, but shipping costs are horrible. But I bought some. Thanks again. Well, I appreciate it, dude. And it still sucks, guys. I'm not trying to say, ooh, ammo is back the way it used to be. Free shipping. It's awesome. No, no. But it's getting maybe a little bit better. A little bit better. No, here's my other sponsor, guys. So check this out, Alaskan Ballistics. We did a video together that's going to be on here soon. He's another one a lot of you guys know. So he's getting ready to leave the range day, and he's like, dude, I don't want to get on the plane with ammo. Do you want a box? So Alaskan Ballistics gave me 50 rounds because he was getting ready to fly all the way back to Alaska. I drove, so there you go. Ammo for the next video sponsored by the Alaskan Ballistics channel, a.k.a. longtime friend of mine on here, and Marco Polo. Another longtime friend of the channel. Look, guys, I want to give away everything that I got there. I'm keeping two things. This is the only piece of swag I'm keeping for myself because literally, like, I'm a Taurus geek just as much as you guys are. So one Taurus head, and then there's the official event shirt. Everything else, I'm giving it away. I'm just going to give it away to channel members and patrons for the most part, and it's, it's not a slight. I hope there's not one person that... Look, it's, there's just only so much, and that's a way I can actually reach out to you guys individually. You know what I mean? And if I get rich someday, which I probably won't because I work too hard for my money to ever be rich, I'd love to send something to all of you. But Taurus gave me a big fat stack of stickers that I can send out to some other people. I figure I'll just set aside a couple hundred bucks for shipping and handling and you know, send out as much stuff as I can to you guys. And you'll see more videos coming from that range day. And that's why I went to try to bring all of you guys along to something that's pretty cool. And so I could get more range reports of these firearms that you guys are wondering about. So, yeah. Many more videos coming on the Taurus GX4, by the way. I'm just going to go through it and kind of show you guys how it works. I think I'm going to compare and contrast to the G3C next. Just because a lot of people want to know. And my quick answer, just to give you guys a teaser, I kind of said it earlier, but people come and go from streams. So if you've been watching the whole thing, sorry, I'm repeating myself. Somebody just came in just now, for example, I saw up there on the loft. It tells me who's coming and going. So, look, it's not really a matter of GX4 versus G3C. It's kind of like either or, or it's both. I carry two firearms a lot. So I really don't think, and you could say G3C versus Glock 26. That'd be fair because they're the same size-ish. You could also probably fairly say SIG 365 versus Hellcat. Okay. And either one of those versus the GX4. And I have a range where I can borrow a Hellcat long enough to do a video with and a, um 365. And I'm going to do those comparisons too. It's just going to be a preference. And a lot of it just depends how you carry so I'm not going to say that, you know, the GX4 is better or worse than the G3C. It's really not about that. Do you guys know what I'm trying to say? It just literally depends what you want to do with it, you know? Ryan D., thanks for becoming a channel member, dude. You're awesome, man. I appreciate it. Um, Phil Ellis just became a channel member. Thanks, Phil. And look, the more channel members I get and the more Patreon supporters I get, just the more cool stuff I'm going to try to do with you all. Stuff that costs me money, like spending a couple hundred dollars on gas and renting a place to stay down in Georgia. Yeah, I wanted to go. Why would I lie to you? Of course I wanted to go. But the reason why I was truly excited about going, and if you guys see the footage of the stuff I've been doing already and the stuff that you haven't seen yet, I really wanted to go for the channel. And what's the channel? It's not me. I could literally just sit here and, you know, maybe probably not even Rick Nieper. I don't know. Some of these guys I met on YouTube first, then we hooked up in real life. 
Look, there might be like five of you guys I know here. I think I met Rick in real life first, but whatever. There might be like five of us sitting around, you know, at any given day at a meeting talking about this stuff. So when I'm doing stuff for the channel, that's for all of you guys. Because I could just sit here and I've always been into guns. I'll always be into guns. But I've never had so much fun doing this until I got to hang out with a bunch of people that were also really excited about it, you know. That's how I look at it anyways. Rainy day, 44, or I'm sorry, 44, 124. Also became a channel member. Jeez, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Now, channel members, can some of you guys help me out? Because I can't do it from here. I don't think you can become a member of your own channel. I haven't tried. There's some custom emojis. So anyone that's into the GX4, hit your channel member GX4 emoji, or you can hit the 2A EDU um, logo. So... Look, it's little stuff. It's kind of silly, but I'm trying to make it fun for you, okay? There's officially a GX4, not even joking emoji. I think I'm the only one on all of YouTube that <laughs> the channel members can get a hold of. I wish I could give it to the um to the Patreon guys too. Look, I like Patreon supporters and channel members because it's nice not to have all the eggs in one basket. So here's how this works. If you're a Patreon supporter, I can send you guys like ammo deals. And stuff that's not violating YouTube policy. So you get a few extra perks there. The channel members, you can do some extra cool stuff in the chat and whatnot. So I don't know. Hopefully it all works out. I'm just trying to have as much fun as I can doing this stuff. And I figure, look, there's some really, really serious stuff going on right now. We need to fight like heck. But I just want to have fun sometimes too. Isn't that what you guys want to do? We just want to be left alone. And if they just leave us alone, we wouldn't need to fight. But you know what? Federalist Papers 49 talked about that. They said, look, if men were angels, we wouldn't need any government at all. But as men are not angels, we are going to need a very limited government. I totally agree with that. But then it said, hold on a minute. It said, if the government were angels, we wouldn't need any internal or external constraints. But as the government is certainly not an angel, they went on to say, we need to always have internal and external restraints upon that government. And what are those restraints? That's actually just you and I, just you the people. All of us nobodies put together. Once you start stacking us up by the hundreds of thousands, millions, hundreds of millions of people, that's the restraints on the government. So yeah, of course things are going like they are, but it's just kind of the way things work, isn't it? So we all need to be happy. We just, we, you know, we just want to be left alone. But as the founding fathers said, before this country was even founded, when the federalists and anti-federalists were arguing about too much government, not enough government, the federalists wanted generally more of a federal government, but they even themselves said, Federalist Paper 49, look it up, talked about how, yeah, <laughs> since the government are definitely not angels, we need restraints on them both internally and externally, the internal restraints were things like the Bill of Rights shall not be infringed. That's a restraint on the government ever trying to infringe, encroach, take away your God-given natural rights. But the external restraints, that's the we the people that they talk about in this exact document that I read earlier. This beautiful document, July 4th, 1776, right? And although they mention a lot of rights in the Bill of Rights, and they should all be cherished. We have the Ninth Amendment that was written. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Combine that with we're endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. That amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what this is all about. We need to fight like hell, literally, to save our natural rights. Prohibited shall not be infringed by the Second Amendment, but we also have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And that's where in streams like this, we need to call out the ATF, all these things, and we need to remain vigilant, but we just need to have fun with each other and hang out too. And that's why I'm really excited that some of you I'm going to send Taurus cases to, hat, t-shirts, stickers, stuff that I traveled halfway across the country, and I did it all because of you guys, so I want to bring you along. Like I think we can do both. And there's some people that would disagree, but that's fine. I'm going to try to be as happy as I can, whether other people are miserable or not. And that's literally what the founding fathers wanted for us too, didn't they? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If you think about that for even half a second, what more could you ever, ever need? 
And that does include going to the range and having fun. It does. You have the right to have fun, but it's your duty to protect against the tyrannical government and to preserve this republic. We need to do both because if we totally ignore the first part, we might not be able to have so much fun in the future. And I want us to be able to, and I want this world to be a beautiful place for our children. Don't you guys? I know you guys do. Marco Polo with the super chat. We need constitutional carry. Look, constitutional carry literally means the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. All gun control laws are unconstitutional, and that's the way it should be, and those are natural laws. But after a long train of usurpations, we need to throw off these laws, don't we? I agree with you, man. Constitutional carry literally just means that the government is prohibited from treading on our natural right to keep and bear arms. So there you go. Some of you guys live in states where it feels, still feels like America. Some of you live in states where you can't even hardly recognize it anymore. I get it. I get it. But that's where we can all hang out here. And it's pretty darn cool because we can offer encouragement to each other. And often you guys say stuff in the chat that's 10 times smarter than I could ever say. Because I'm not a particularly smart person. I'm not very highly educated. But, hey, I like to talk with you guys, and that's where we need to start. And then all of you guys, which are really smart, will come in, and I always look at these chats afterwards. I can't read them all in real time. There's just more of you than there are me. Look at you guys with those um, with those GX4. And then the 2A EDU, are you guys finding those okay? I don't know. I'm just trying to have fun, guys. We literally need to defeat the ATF somehow, but we can still be little kids, I guess, in a way, and have little – emojis of fun stuff i don't know <laughs> i thought it was fun ask mateo he'll tell you i got a hold of him late one night i'm like dude dude go in there check out the 2a edu emoji remember that mateo a week later i'm like dude i got a gx4 emoji it just was fun ron wayne thanks for becoming a member dude i appreciate it man thank you james kawasaki thank you sir it says james kawasaki thanks man i appreciate it Look, I'll try to hook you guys up with whatever I can. Hopefully a good time on a Friday night, if nothing else, right? Charles Smith, 1776. That was a good year. Beautiful document written in that year, guys, and don't forget that. He said, picked up my GX4 yesterday. I EDC a P365 SAS on an XL frame. I think the GX4 is every bit as good as the SIG. Thanks for the review, man, and thanks for such a generous super chat. Look, talk it out amongst each other. I don't know yet. I don't know yet about the SIG 365. I don't like the trigger on the SIG. Ooh, someone just gave me a thumbs down. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. Someone gave me a thumbs down, literally, because I said I didn't like the SIG trigger. No. So he's got, he, he EDCs the P365 SAS. What do you think, man, with that, with that stainless steel, you know, stainless steel chassis? Nice. Nickel plated steel, by the way pretty slick isn't it if you feel the rails look this little pistol is teeny it's got rails like a monolithic rail on both sides that goes all the way up and down that's your teaser i still want you to watch the video but man there's a lot of that pistol is built pretty down stout i literally i literally couldn't believe it i was like okay it's gonna be a scaled down g2c it's gonna be a, a scale. no it's a, it's a whole new pistol that taurus designed then Look, it's going for like basically MSRP right now, but that's due to the times that we're in. I think when it gets back down to a normal street price, once things can just kind of, I shouldn't say once. I don't want to put one foot out in front of the other and trip on myself. Hopefully things can get back to normal sometime here with prices. And I think it'll come down. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. I bet you it would be sub three. Sub three if it would have come out one year and two months ago. That's just my guess. Because if you look at the G2C, that's $299 everywhere. Those were like $179. Go back and look at my videos. A lot of you guys bought them. $179.99, $25 rebate, right? Well, those are $299. So those went up $120. So if you're complaining how much the GX4 costs, I get it. It sucks. But look at the cost of everything right now. Everything's jacked up. Jacked up at least. At least 100, 120, just for average stuff. I don't know. It sucks. 
Um, Carl Tucky became a channel member. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. I'm going to put out a video, guys, for the channel members, Patreon supporters. I'll send you the link. I don't know. I don't usually do this stuff, but I just want to give it all away because I went to the event for you guys. That's literally why I went there. And to have fun, too, of course. But I don't want anything physically from it, so I'll figure it out. I've got a beautiful little girl that'll sit there next to me, and I think we'll have fun together pulling names out of a hat, whatever. But just wait. Just wait for me to do the video, and then I'll tell you what to do from there. Just because I'm not like a professional and I don't know what I'm doing. But I think it sounds like fun. So all of you guys are going to get it regardless. I just don't know exactly how to do it yet. Jay Johnson with the super chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. Beautiful little girl right next to him. Right as I'm talking about my beautiful little girl. Man, I'd be proud of her, Jay. Look at that. Beautiful kid there. He says, Texas Governor Greg Abbott passes constitutional carry. He's saying, fingers crossed. For all of you that live in Texas... I, he's, it's supposed to be on his desk right now. Their state legislature, both sides of it, their house, their Senate has passed the constitutional carry bill. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to it. Look, constitutional carry is right here. This is the bill of rights, the first 10 amendments to the constitution. And this is the original constitutional carry, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's what the Constitution says, doesn't it? Look, any gun law, all gun laws are completely and utterly constitutional, but like they say right here in the Bill of Rights, but after a long train of usurpations, right? Yeah. And it also says that people, mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable. Look, they've kept the evil sufferable for so long, people grew accustomed, didn't they? Now, some of we can blame ourselves for it. We can blame people and generations that are all dead and gone, right? But we need to get it back. We need to repeal these gun control laws because this country started with no gun control laws and a very strict prohibition on them ever trying to do that. And it's going to take a little time. That's where we need to stay vigilant. But you can't give up hope because the human spirit's a very fine line. You know, people can only sit there and be overburdened so much and then they kind of crack. So that's why we need to have encouraging things that we can look forward to. And we need to just keep going and we need to not compromise because the other side, they're literally, in my opinion, trying to take every last gun. So we need to go there and try to get every last gun control law repealed. And that's what the Constitution says. So I think that's being on the good side of things. What do you guys think about that? I saw Marksman TV in here earlier. Are you still in here? Definitely want to have you on a stream soon. There's two people right now that were at one time in the chat. And hopefully they still are. My friend Rick Nieper, just talk to him on the phone. I want to have him come back in my shop because I always have a lot of fun having Rick on, and I know a lot of you guys do too, and Marksman TV. I think we, we need to do a stream yard. I actually want to drive down to Indiana again, to be honest with you guys, but, but I took that trip so I could get some content for the channel and bring you guys all along down to Georgia. I'm a very small business, guys, like literally owner-operator. Like I'm cutting grass, doing the bids. I have to sharpen and change the blades, do the oil changes, wrench on the work truck. Yeah. So I don't think so anytime real soon, but I do want to literally go back to Indiana. But no, man, if you're still watching, Marksman, we'll have to just real quick one night for five, ten minutes, make sure that the StreamYard thing works, like figure it out because you've never done it before, and then just jump on and hang out. So, yeah, I have some stuff that I'm really looking forward to. I do. Um, Chris Plummer says, Wolf or PA will never pass constitutional carry. I'm Governor Wolf. <sighs> we talk about real beauties. We talk about the Michigan governor, don't we? The Pennsylvania governor, Governor Wolf. That's a real beauty. I'll tell you that much. I don't know, man. I enjoyed the countryside driving through Indiana. It sounds like some of you guys are saying it has some issues, and I get that. But, but Marksman TV, I consider him a really good friend. And I just really like hanging out with them. And I don't know. We should do what we like to do. So I think you guys will be excited. I definitely want to have him on as a guest for a stream again soon. And my friend Rick, because I like hanging out with him. 
And then there's that young lady that used to own mommy that hung out with me the other night. And I may let her back on here again soon. Is it just me or do you guys struggle with this too? Look, we have to keep fighting. We have to keep fighting like crazy because the enemy, they're never going to stop. But we also need to have some fun too, don't we? Sometimes I almost feel guilty for trying to have a little fun, like, you know, but it's like, no, in my opinion, tell me what you guys think. You have to do some things that that make you happy while still fighting vigilantly because mental health is also health. And I think a lot of what they're doing right now is just trying to browbeat us and get everyone so depressed and frustrated and weak that they don't want to do anything. But, you know, I sit here and I go through, and some people call it 2 edu going on a rant again. And everything I speak about is completely unscripted, like literally. And it's from the heart because we need to talk about that stuff. But then we also need to once in a while just to have a little bit of fun too. So that's why that's things that I look forward to. Certain friends of mine where I'm like, man, I'd like to see them again and spend time with them. Some of it's here on YouTube. Some of it's off YouTube. People you'd probably never meet, whatever. But I hope all of you guys have that too, where you hang out with friends have a blast, and then try to offer some encouragement for each other. And I hope that's what this chat does every Friday night. I mean, that's really why I'm doing this live stream. I say it so much because it's just true. You guys are, like, really awesome. And I'm really lucky to get to hang out with so many cool people. I don't know how. I don't know why. But I guess it just is what it is. And you guys provide me a lot of encouragement and wisdom when I go through and, and read these chats the next weekend. Denny's Plant-Based Journey. I told you, man. Denny came into the chat. Look, that Kool-Aid shirt, that's going to Denny. Everything else, I'm just going to do a drawing for Patreon and channel members. I guess I like Denny the most, but don't get mad at him. I'm the one that's playing favorites. Nah, dude, Denny's a cool dude. Someone's like, he said he likes him the most. Glad CC was passed concealed carry in Texas, but didn't like Rhino's resisting. Dude, a Rhino. Don't even get me started on that. But I'll keep my permit for the purpose of being able to travel to other neighboring states. Reciprocity, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of states will say, well, we don't care if you have constitutional carry or not. You don't have the right to freely exercise your rights. Look, the state doesn't give you your rights. But, hey, there's a man with a gun that will pull you over and apprehend you if you don't have a piece of paper. Right, Denny? Telling you, after a long train of abuses and usurpations, that's what the declaration says. I hear you, Denny. Thanks for the super chat, man. And a channel member, and you're on Patreon. Thanks, man. That's all right. You guys are going to see something cool coming from the channel that you guys wanted to know about, that you wanted me to review. So I'm spending this money back to share with you guys. Trust me. Mike McClune with the super chat. Thanks, dude. He said, Governor Wolf is a treat for sure. Oh, boy. What about that black bear? Governor Wolf. And that black bear, defensively, Susan Wiki Wiki. What do you guys think? Would that be a – actually, in some countries, that's a spectator sport. I still see that Susan Wiki Wiki hanging out in the chat. She's not so happy with the channel right now, but that's all right. I care more about what you guys think than her. She's not even attractive either, so. All right, who's running to take his place? Okay, he says, Governor Wolf is a treat for sure, but look at who's running to take his place and his lieutenant gov. Fetterman is running for Senate. So was the one running to take his place even worse? Are we back to that whole lesser of two evils thing? Uh, that gets pretty dang frustrating, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, in addition, before I forget, guys, here, in addition to perks like being able to have your own GX4 emoji and 2A E to you emoji. I'll add another one tonight for fun since so many people became members tonight. By the way, can you guys help each other out? If any of you is a member and don't know how to use those emojis, ask and hopefully someone in the chat can explain because I'm actually not a member of my own channel. So I don't know if I can be. I don't really want to be. That'd be weird. But I don't really know how to actually do it. But I know some of you guys do. But I also have these to send out to you guys. So here's a new black and white one which i've had for a while i got these printed just before i went down to georgia so and then these are color schemes i came up with on my own so i've got the some people call it camo you know i don't know i think it's pretty cool it's got tan brown and then the green and then the red white and blue so 
I've got a few new stickers that I'm going to be sending out to people going forward. And you guys have asked for this. This is not me pushing this on you. This is literally people that have asked. They're like, 2AEDU, why don't you get some merch? Well, I got the stickers a while ago. But this hat here that I wear, 2A Patriot hat. This is actually a hat that my friend Rob designed, right, for his group, our group. I'm a member of them also. Now, this hat I'm getting locally made because I don't want to do Teespring, guys. I really, really don't. Teespring, they take a huge chunk. They jack the price up. They're an internet business. They censor people, whatever. My friend Rob has an e-commerce site already set up, and he's going to have a 2A EDU section on there where this is his hat. It says 2A Patriot. Picture this hat identical to this, literally identical, except for instead of saying 2A Patriot, it'll just have the small 2A EDU on the bottom. So basically, it'll look like this, but be on this exact hat. That's actually going to be available for sale. The hats are being made, embroidered. I shouldn't say made. I don't know who actually made made the hat, but it's going to be embroidered here in Howell, Michigan, and fulfilled by somebody in Howell, Michigan. So any of you guys that asked me for merch, I'm not pushing it on you at all. This will be available soon. I literally just put in a request for 100 of them. I have several types of stickers, and that's just for people that just kind of want something from the channel. It'll help me out a little bit, but mainly just because you guys are asking. And a lot of people have asked. Someone in there is going to say, oh, he's trying to sell merch. No, I'm actually not. I've been resisting it for like a year now, but Look, I take it as a compliment, like honor that anyone would even want anything with my channel on it. So there you guys go. And if I sell some hats and sell some stickers and whatnot, okay. Then instead of it just being like, is it the SAR 9 or the A-Rex Delta? Maybe both, right? So by the way, one of those is on order, one of the two. I did a survey before I left and went out of town. But yeah. Look, dude, someone said trucker style hat. Maybe. Again, I'm not all about the merch. People have literally just been asking me, and it was the perfect thing. Local company doing the embroidering. Local company offering to do the fulfilling. That's what I'm all about. So they'll be going. I don't have a link yet, guys. This is literally just bringing you guys along and letting you know that I'm working on it. I literally just put in, like, they showed me the proof, emailed me the proof, what, two days ago? And I responded back and said, perfect. So... I don't know how long it takes. But, yeah, it'll basically be that exact hat you all like. It'll just be specific for 2A EDU. Pillbox Bunker, you making Susan Wiki Wiki nervous? Good job, man. If you're making her nervous, that's good. I like that. Thanks, Dr. Warren. Jacobus Prinsley, what's happening, man? We sent you some stickers to South Africa, didn't we? I'm pretty sure my wife did. Where's my beautiful wife at? She's in here somewhere. She helps out with that behind-the-scenes stuff, guys. I'm out on the lawnmower, and she sends out stickers and stuff. Because up till now, the only way you guys could get a sticker is by being a channel member or by being a um by being a channel member or a Patreon supporter. And that wasn't – it was just literally the only way I could do it, right? Well, now I'll have a place where you guys can go on if you'd like to support the channel that way. I don't know. That's what you guys have been asking me to do, and I'm trying to learn how to do it. <laughs> uh, MacShot62, thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. You've been very generous, man. Really. Thank you. He says, got something special planned for you about the week of June 10th, and I'd love to unveil it on the stream. Kit Kat. I knew it. I knew it. I bring my friend Ray on here. And she'd expose the nickname she has for me because I say, give me a break. She'll say something and I'll look over and be like, give me a break. Well, yeah. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have let her on the stream again. She hadn't been on the stream in a year. She is my really good friend. But some of you got privy to the nickname that she gave me, didn't you? Um, somebody just, uh, Charles Smith mentioned bunker branding. Nah, dude, I'm a small guy. I'm like a nobody bunker branding. Won't even look at your channel. I think unless you have a hundred thousand subscribers, well, that's how the rules used to be. Somebody told me you have to have a quarter million now. I don't know. Whatever it is, they won't really, you know, you have to be a lot bigger channel than I am. But here's the thing. While those guys are probably totally awesome. There's literally people I know in real life, like down the road, 20 minutes from here, 
that have offered and said they could do it. And so we'll see what we can do. I don't know. I just know a lot of you have said you've wanted a hat, you've wanted a sticker, stuff like that. For all of you that just became channel members tonight, have been channel members, Patreon supporters, we're going to go through all the swag I got from IV8888 Range Day, right? I'll probably do a drawing for all that, but everyone's going to get something. I'm literally going to send something to all of you guys. So if you don't like win a Taurus box, okay? Just watch my video with my friend Ray and I the other day. You guys will know what I'm talking about. I have some of these, but not enough to give everyone one. So, like, even if you, like, lose and you don't win the drawing for any of, like, the 40, 50 things I'm giving out, I definitely want to make sure everybody at least has a sticker because that's what I've always done is giving stickers out to, to channel supporters, you know. But they never were for sale before, and I've had probably 150 people in the last couple months ask me, to, you know, make the hat available. When I say sending stickers to you guys, I mean like, you know, 2A EDU sticker, Taurus decals. I have a decent amount of these. I'm, I'm going to hook you guys up the best I can. All right. Shipping's atrocious, by the way, guys. When I say like, but shipping's expensive, that's literally no joke. These are pretty cool. Go back and watch the stream the other day if you guys want to see all of it. We were going over it the whole stream, but those are cool too. They didn't give everybody this stuff, by the way. They literally gave 2A EDU like a whole bunch of extra stuff because apparently they go through and read comments and know how much a lot of you guys like their stuff. But everything I'm giving away isn't just Taurus, though. So We'll figure it out. I'll figure out how to do it. All I can promise you is this. Patreon channel members, I'm giving it all away. And the very least you'll get is a couple stickers, no matter what. And maybe I'll have to ask a nine-year-old girl how to do it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. What are you guys talking about in here? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I kept two things, guys, for myself. This, GX4 hat. Because I'm just as big of a Taurus Pistol fan as all of you guys, obviously. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, obviously, right? And then there's a there's a shirt that they give you for the actual range day itself. And it was specifically for my size. So, whatever. Whereas... <laughs> Ron Wayne, what's up, dude? No, you guys asked me for the hats. And I literally, I feel embarrassed even mentioning it. But I'm not telling you, buy my merch, buy my merch. I'm trying to actually fulfill something that some people actually were kind of like, man, dude, it's kind of bulk. You won't do a hat or something. So I'm doing it. I'm um, threaded for my pleasure. What's happening, dude? Thanks for helping the channel. And thanks for being a friend, man. He says, great interviews with all those cool people in Georgia. God bless everyone. That's what I did. I just wanted to, wanted to offer you guys encouragement. Hopefully it did some of you. Some people, maybe it didn't. Hey, you can't make everyone happy all the time, but hey, I'm just trying to do my thing. And somebody even left me a message and they said, there you go. That's two-way EDU. He's at basically a machine gun shoot. And you guys can hear it in the background. And he's walking around with all these other YouTubers trying to offer us encouragement. And I'm like, well, of course. That's why I went there. Duh. Obviously. I could have just gone out and probably for cheaper than that, really, just gone out and rented a machine gun somewhere, of course. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go to the tourist booth. Literally spent like more time there than anywhere else to get range time, get information on these pistols for you all. Walk around, meet other YouTubers, try to, you know, try to just offer some encouragement. Literally, what the title of those videos say. Kit Kat 2AE. Jeez, oh Pete. Oh, I bring her on here and then I don't know, man. Cave Dave, what's happening, man? Cave Dave would like a cigar. Yeah, I do not smoke cigars, and Brownells was giving out their own custom cigars. So, awesome, man. I don't know. I wish we could all just sit in the room and be like, who wants the cigar? Who wants the case? Blah, blah, blah. I promise you guys I'm going to give it all to you, except for I'm keeping this one hat. And other than that, I don't know how to do it. So, hopefully my lovely wife or my smart channel moderator can help tell me how to do this. I don't know. <laughs> I know how to speak passionately about the Constitution and our God-given rights, and I know how to, I don't know if I'm good at it or not, but I know how to review guns, right? 
but I don't know how to do like the stuff. I have no clue. <laughs> I love Hemi with the super sticker. Thanks, man. Let me pull it up over here and see if I can find it. Hold on. Sometimes they skip the stream on me. I need to grab this before it goes too far. I hate it when they mess with me on this crap. There we go. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Let me come over here on the other chat and read what it says because my StreamYard chat works better for most things, but it doesn't exactly let me see the super sticker. Uh, speaking of little ones, look at those cuties in there. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, man. He says, good luck. I'm going to need some good luck with my nickname got doxed on YouTube the other day. That's literally how it started. She'd say something smart to me. I'm like, <laughs> give me a break. And after saying that too much, and after some fierce fights over Lamy, don't tell Ray I said this next time she's on, but I won, obviously. I mean, he's here. Duh. She ended up calling me Kit Kat, which is absolutely a great name for a big, strong, tough, you know, alpha male guy like myself. And I've been reduced to a mere Kit Kat by a five foot six or seven woman. I don't know. <laughs> Ryan D figured out how to use. Okay, cool. I'm coming over here in the um in the other YouTube chat <laughs> trying to figure out how to do how to um how to look at these emojis. What do you guys think? Can you tell that looks like a um GX4? I think it does. Thanks for the super sticker, Mateo. Don't forget the thumbs up, guys. Literally. It's totally free, and if nothing else, it pisses off this lady called Susan Wiki Wiki. She's not too nice, and she doesn't want us to be on here at all, and she's probably actually working on shadow banning this stream as we speak, if I had to guess. I don't know. I should go over and take a peek, but I don't think I want to know, do I, what she's doing to this stream. <laughs> Mateo said, number one channel at 2AEDU. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I guarantee you I'm probably the best channel all of you guys are watching right now. Unless, of course, you've got four different monitors up. But maybe the best stream you're watching right now in Michigan. No, I appreciate it, Mateo. Thanks, man. And for those of you that feel left out, you that literally have, like, no money at all, you can use my Amazon link, and it really does also help the channel. Costs you nothing, but I do get a very small little kickback. So if you're just going there anyways and you're like, dang it, I really help. I like to help out the channel, get some more stuff, you know, going to review and whatnot. That also helps. Every little bit adds up, and it literally costs you nothing. So not asking you guys to do it as much as if you're already going to anyways. It all adds up a little bit, right? Am I a left Kit Kat or a right Kit Kat? I don't know. I would say we'll have to wait till she's on the stream next time, but I don't know. She's probably not watching right now. It's past her bedtime, but ooh. Should I have it on the should I have her on the stream again or not? Let me know. Let me know if I should have her on the stream again. Even though she revealed my nickname. I don't know, dude. Ask her if I'm on the left or right side. <laughs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> for the 2A, for the 2A. What's happening, man? Thanks for being a channel member. Says, great stream as always. Love to see your channels. Well, thank you. I like to do this stuff too, man. Oh, is there more um, more thumbs ups and watchers? Okay, well, that's good. That's awesome. Sometimes they sit there and, look, they mess with it, guys. Trust me, you'll just watch it. And you'll literally see, like, all of a sudden they'll go, bloop. And they'll, like, take away views from a video. It's like, how'd they take away views? Someone viewed it or they didn't? It's called the algorithm, okay? Trust me. Oh, Ryan D, that's Twix left versus right, not Kit Kat. I literally started this simple. She'd say something, and I'm like, give me a break. Is that normal? I thought everybody says that to somebody when they're not necessarily mad at them. But maybe just a little bit, you know, like, psh, yeah, right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, the GX4 shot quite a few rounds through it, guys. I like it a lot. I know somebody's already said that they compared it to their SIG 365 and actually like it better. 
I haven't been able to do that comparison yet because I don't have the SIG. Can't afford a SIG. But I do know someone that has one. So I'm going to check it out. But I will say this for you. I want to say this because there's always different people coming and going. I don't really know that. Look, well, I do know this for a fact. This is not just a new generation of the you know G2C, G3C. This is not the G4C. And I hope they do come out with that someday. But this is actually just a different gun. Feels different in the hand, different grip texturing, different sizes in all dimensions. The way it's built is different. The way the constri trigger is constructed is very different. And I don't think that it'd be fair to say that this one is better than the other because you just really can't do that. That'd be like saying, okay, is the Beretta 92 better than the Smith & Wesson Model 10? Okay, well, hold on a minute, right? Now, it's going to be better for you. It's going to be better for someone else. But you can't just say one's better without actually having some type of, of qualifier to that. Like, this is better for concealed carry. This is better for open carry. This is better for round capacity. And if that's all you want, okay, there's the winner. But someone else is like, I need something that's better for deep concealment. So it goes back and forth. But I think it'd be good to do a video where they'll go side by side. Now, <clears throat> the TX-22, those of you that have them, you already know what I'm talking about. The trigger, excellent. Like, awesome. The only little flaw I have with the TX-22 is I wish it had interchangeable back straps like the GX-4 does. That was awesome. That was awesome that the GX-4 has interchangeable back straps, and I think they need to come out with a new TX-22. I didn't like the high arch grip on the back. Trigger, though, totally awesome on the TX, right? Well, I saw the competition, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. Then you guys told me there's a conversion kit. Like, it's a whole completely built slide, optics, plates, everything that you can just buy from Taurus. I went to buy one. In 10 minutes, it sold out. I couldn't get it. So I was like, man, maybe eventually. It's still sold out right now, unfortunately. But they had one at range day down in Georgia, and I shot it quite a bit. Let me tell you what, that gun's not a gimmick. And when they say competition, look, competition means anything you want it to be. It's all part of that life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? Look, you could be shooting for a profession, whatever, Team Taurus, okay. Or you could just be competing with yourself, literally by yourself in your backyard. Or you're sitting there, father and son, trying to see who shoots the, you know, the pop cans over the quickest. Yes, I live in Michigan. We call it pop. For the rest of you, soda cans, Coke cans, whatever. I love all you soda drinkers too. So if you're in Michigan, you're shooting pop cans, friendly competition. Maybe you're putting money on it, whatever. But yeah, it's a very, very nice shooter, guys. Go look at pictures of it if you want to know what I'm talking about. So I shot it. I want one really bad. They're not in stock. So I'm trying to get my hands on a TX-22. I don't want to buy the whole pistol because I've already got the, the frame, right? I'm hoping just to get one of those slides. And for all of you that beat me to it, you can rub it in and tell me how awesome it is, right? Because one of you guys probably bought them. I was talking to the guys at Taurus. I'm like, TX-22 kit, right? And then literally by the time I read it, they were sold out. So I know some of you SOBs out there bought those kits out from under me. Did you buy that kit cave, Dave? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it was the person that told me. If you're watching tonight, there was 200 in stock. They bought 199 of them. Cave Dave bought the 200th, and then they told me about it. I don't know. That's something you guys would do just to mess with me, though. I know you would. Uh, I couldn't get it yet, but I want one. I want one bag because it's affordable, and it'll just go right on your TX-22. So I shot that quite a bit. Just literally, I'm sitting there on the little tree, you know, where you knock the target from one side to the other, red dot sight on there, no recoil, just tink, 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 and I'm not that type of shooter. That thing was just plink, 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 like nothing. Like, I looked like a professional shooter with it. Just so balanced, recoil, all that kind of stuff. Wow. That was pretty cool. So I'm really excited about that. Then I shot the, the Heritage... Barkeep, it's called, right? Barkeeper? I always forget. Barkeeper or barkeep. Anyways, it's like the Rough Rider, okay? Little six shot, 22, little loading gate in there. It's got a safety on it. I don't like, but hey, I would never carry it as a concealed carry myself. I'm not into doing that, but whatever. I digress. 
Little short stubby barrel. I was shooting the two and a half version at range day. I'm going to have video for you on that. And that was a heck of a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. So that was pretty cool too. I'm not even a big 22 guy, but I really like some of the stuff that they're doing. And those heritages are cheap. I mean, right now they're going for 50% more than what they used to, but that's the times we're in, right? 2A for the 2A. What do I think of the AR-15 Saint? No comment. Don't know much about it. So hopefully someone can help him out down in the comments with that one. I just don't know. I'd like to tell you something to sound really smart, but I don't want to lie to you, man. So Ron Wayne figured out how to do the GX4. Nice. But, yeah, let's see here. Oh, Jacobus Prinsloo in South Africa used my – um. Use my Amazon link. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. By the way, Forge Tech, I really like their holsters. There's a coupon code. It's called 2AEDU. Go look at my last video with them. Saves you 5%. I get no kickback whatsoever. Don't want it. Didn't ask for it. But that'll help you a little bit. He's definitely working on developing a GX4 holster, like, soon. So I'm not going to give you a date because I just don't know. The man's a small business like me, mainly just working by himself making the holsters, shipping them and all that. But there's going to be a GX4 holster from Forge Tech very soon. I haven't seen it yet because I don't think it quite exists. Or if it does, I haven't seen one yet. But I'm pretty sure I like it because I like all of his holsters that I've had. So figured I'd give you guys a quick update on that. Um, someone's talking about just bought the Heritage. Robert Hall says, just bought the Heritage. Love it. Well, nice. A lot of you don't even know. Taurus owns Heritage. They bought them a while ago. So, yeah. Harry Gremley said, smash the thumbs up, people. Well, thanks for reminding them, Harry. Nice to see you, man. Man, you guys are talking about food. What the heck, dude? Um, Dale Kanye, what's up, man? How you doing? I got your email just before I left on the trip. I didn't forget about you. Anyone that emailed me, I am going to get back to you soon. If you email me about the... Than me giving the stuff away from the um, range day, there'll be a very specific video just on that that you guys will know about soon. So, But other people like you that actually made a very generous offer, I've been swamped. Went down out of state, the driving, came back here, further behind on my lawns. And then it rains all night and it's 40 degrees out. So, yeah. Uh, Band Talk, thanks for being a supporter, man. He said, High Point is a great gun to leave locked in the truck. The old truck gun, right? I mean, they're cheap. That's true. They're cheap. They might not be the most ergonomic, but they go bang. Look, I've had a JHP 45, a C9 pistol, and two of the 995 carbines for a really long time. I have the 995 TS. And then for you old school guys, I have the original Planet of the Apes lookalike. 995 high point carbine too and for those of you that seen it you know what i'm talking about i think don't you so yeah let me see here i'm just reading some of my chats here with you guys which is what i look forward to doing here at the end of the stream um carl tucky says um i wish we could get a gx4 like pistol and 22 magnum okay for people like me with arthritic hands and wrists you know what? That makes sense. And somebody else mentioned that. It might have been you. It might have been someone else. That is a good idea, isn't it? A real small little compact. Yeah, Taurus has their little, you know, basically Beretta copy, right? Their little PT-22, but that's not, that's an old-fashioned style. You know what? That's an interesting concept, huh? I have zero pull. I have no pull with Taurus, but I have a couple email addresses. I'll, I'll email it to them and bring it up to them. I think that sounds like a decent idea, to be honest with you. What do I know, right? What do you know? Maybe oh, I might actually be a big hit. That sounds pretty neat. Yeah, everybody, 22 Magnum, you know. Might not be as good for self-defense as 9, but at the same time, 22 Magnum, especially out of the right size barrel, it's a decent little round, isn't it? Dude, high point carbines, James Kawasaki, are fun for the money. They actually are, man. I agree. They're, they're really low recoil. I mean, easy to shoot. They're they're awesome. I I like it. I really do. Um, let's see here. You guys are talking about eating. Yeah, I talked about the ammo stuff earlier, guys. Look. 
a year and let's say two months ago, okay? This was $6.39 a box. I tried to tell everyone that was watching my streams back then. I'm like, buy it now. Buy as much as you can. And I, I tried to help, and then just it went crazy. The good news is this. This was like around 30 just a couple months ago. and would sell out in five minutes. Now I saw AIM has it for 23 and it's actually been in stock for four or five days. That's a start. Unless something crazy comes up, I think by the end of this year, which is I've been kind of saying the whole time, it'll be closer to what it once was. One more time. Again, different people come in and out, guys. So if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. But some people are just coming in and are asking me about the ammo. I hope I'm wrong. I literally have never meant anything more than this tonight. I hope I'm wrong, okay? But it ain't never coming back to this price again. I literally don't think so. I don't think ever, ever, because there's a lot of extra factors. Inflation, things like that. And then it just seems like once you give up a little something or once they raise something on you, you never quite get it back, do you? Remember different things in the past that had happened where ammo went up in price. It eventually came back down, and it got down close to what it was pre-2008. Just about 15 months ago, it was about as cheap as I'd seen it in a long, long time. But it still never quite made it back there. So I think by the end of the year, this is if something crazy doesn't happen tomorrow, which can turn everything completely and utterly upside down. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to keep seeing it trickling, trickling, trickling. I can see, I can see by next year, 2022, I can see this being more like instead of 639, and I'm just talking online, local's always going to be different, but you have to pay shipping. Look, it's a personal decision. But just so I'm staying here, congruent with what I was talking about, if this was 639 pre-flu, whatever you guys want to call it, I can see by the beginning of next year, maybe this being down to about 12, brass being 15-ish, 16, that's online price. Your local gun shop might charge you a little more, but it might be a better deal if you're only buying a couple boxes. So I can see us kind of splitting the difference from where we are now to where we were 15 months ago by early 2022. It ain't never coming back down to what it was beforehand. Just my opinion. Hope, hope, hope I'm wrong. If everyone comes in here the first of the year and says, dude, it's cheaper than it was pre-Flugaloo, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't even like to say the name of it on here because of these goofy algorithms. I'll be like, awesome, dude. 300 people just come in here and tell me I'm wrong. But if you want my guess, that's where we're going to be. Still probably twice what it's worth here at the new year instead of four, five, six times what it's worth. But what is it worth? It's worth what people are willing to pay for it, and that's why we've seen the prices we've seen, right? Because that's just kind of how it works. Mike McClune with the super chat again. Thanks, man. The governor of Pennsylvania is sitting there. He's creeping out from that rock and that big, huge, that's a big bear, man. Whew. You wonder what would happen, wouldn't you guys? <laughs> hype with the hippo. He's got the hype hippo up. Am I good at doing hype? These guys are going to be in here. Man, 2A EDU is hype as heck tonight. And then Ray will come in here. You mean Kit Kat. Give me a break. <laughs> Where's 2A EDU number one fangirl or whatever you're called this weekend here? There's this one good-looking girl in here that comes in and claims to be a fan, but I haven't seen her tonight too much. I never had fans, but I have one because they literally put it in their name. I saw it earlier tonight. Now, that's pretty cool. A hot chick that puts 2A EDU's number one fan or something like that in her name. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Algorizer, or agorizer, I'm sorry, agorizer. He says, one more comment for Al Gore's rhythm. It's funny when you guys type that in there. <clears throat> there she is, Linda 2A EDU's number one fan. You guys thought I was joking. Now, come on now. How lucky am I? I'm literally just sitting here. I'm calling for it. I'm like, I want a total hot chick that is named 2A EDU's number one fan. And I went like that, and there she is. <laughs> awesome. What have we got here? 19 in Louisiana. Wow, so that's coming down in price quite a bit then. 
look, this is all going to vary state by state. I hope it gets as cheap as possible, as quick as possible. So, yeah. <laughs> um, show just, I'm going to have to come shoot this summer. I'd love to, dude. How you doing, man? You keeping your chin up? I hope so. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody, I'm just laughing because of the whole. You guys think I made, I can't even make this up. I'm like, yeah, there's this, there's this hot chick out there that says she's two A E D U's number one fan, and I just proved it to you guys. <laughs> I do have a fan. All right, I'm gonna go through the chat real quick. I've been on for almost two hours already, but I did start a little late, so I'm gonna get a get off in just one second here. It was freezing tonight, like literally. I started the stream and almost lost my voice. Because I'm out there mowing lawns 12 miles an hour. It's the only way you can make a little money, right, with how expensive it is to operate in the state of Michigan. Oh, the governor is a beauty. Real beauty, but in a different kind of way, trust me. Not beautiful like 2AEDU's number one fan. We're talking in a totally different kind of way. So I'm out there trying to beat the governor, beat the inflation, and make a little money. And, oh, it was too cold. Just breathing in that 40-degree air with all the pollen, with all the grass clippings, because it was just like 92 degrees the other day. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Usually when you're mowing grass when it's 40, at least the pollen hasn't come out yet. Oh, no, trees are multiplying, pollinating, doing all of that, and it's also 40 degrees. So, yeah, my voice is a little hoarse. Some of you guys leave comments saying, man, are you sleeping at all? Probably not sleeping enough, but the main thing is just all that pollen and allergens just swirling around in my face all day that's why my eyes will be a little puffy when i'm doing my videos and my nose is a little stuffed up it's it is what it is i work hard for living outside just like a lot of you guys do so i think you guys get it but i'm all right i'm doing good um scott plagman two-way edu is the only gun tuber with groupies oh man thank you I, i'm trying to have fun with this guys but i'm not joking and there's literally Proof in the chat, like literal proof. Right, Victor Miller? No, I'm not going to search you guys five minutes. I'm going to hang out for five more minutes, and I'm going to search you guys by exactly two minutes just because I'm just because i such a mean guy. I just want to search you all. Right, Victor? <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Doug Kennedy just became a new member. Thanks, Doug. Stay tuned. I will have my um whatever you even want to call it. Swag, is that the new way to say it? I'll have that video up soon, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Chad, dude, it's the same thing here. He says 90 degrees are here on Wednesday. 40 degrees tonight. I love Maine. Same exact thing here. 90, 40, 50 degree temperature swing in like a couple of days. And I know it's rude, but hopefully you guys understand why I'm like sniffling. And I mean, it's it's crazy out there working in this weather. Like literally. I know you're joking back there. I just wanted a chance to sound like I was really, really mean, you know, just like, oh, I'm going to screw all you guys over as hard as I can. And I'm going to end this stream so early, and it's hard for me to play it off. I don't know. Doug Kennedy, well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. He says, love your channel and look forward to Friday nights. I definitely look forward to Friday nights a lot, guys. I really do. It's right up for my pleasure. Thanks, man. Thank you. Max Shot, welcome all new channel members. Yes, welcome, and thank all of you guys. Look, guys, I'm going to conclude with this. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. It's a lot of BS, and a lot of you guys are angry, and you have the right to be angry, and I understand that. But look, we have a republic if we can keep it. I know there's tons of stuff where you feel like all hope is lost, but I want to offer you guys encouragement. You're not alone. Trust me, I promise you on that. Look, I'm still trying to fight the good fight. So I promise you, I'm with you at the very least. So there's a start. I want us all to sit and kind of mourn and, and realize what Memorial Day is all about. is to remember the fallen. People who gave the ultimate sacrifice to try to perpetuate this experiment on self-governance, to try to reject socialism, communism, fascism, and all these evil things. And I think that should give us the encouragement the encouragement to keep up the good fight because evil always prevails when good men do nothing. And when Ben Franklin was asked, do we have a monarch or a republic? He said a republic, if you can keep it. 
and he was talking about you. So you need to remember that. And you need to stay vigilant, ATF, all these things. Don't let it distract you. And I also want all of you to have a lot of fun this weekend. You should go out and you should barbecue and you should enjoy. And while you're enjoying it, you should remember why you're enjoying that. For a lot of people who gave up a lot, even in spite of a lot of people who haven't done enough. And that's why we all need to do enough. There's many ways you can serve your country. Many ways that you can, in uniform and out of uniform. And I think we all need to step it up with our service just a little bit more. And we can still have a heck of a lot of fun too. So with that said, all of you guys be completely safe this weekend. I've had an awesome time hanging out with you guys tonight. And I'll be hanging out with you guys in more videos on this channel very soon. All right, thanks for watching. And have a good one.